Water is life, plain and simple. Uh, and we use it, it's so much part of our life. We're obviously drinking water. It supports the diversity of species that live around the river. And so it is our legacy. It's what, you know, clean water is what we have to pass on to future generations. I'm a research scientist at the St. Lawrence River Institute. I am the microbiologist at the River Institute. Started in 1995, we were uh, three staff members. All the different aspects of, of the river, the community, education, science, it's, it's, it's very unique from that perspective. While doing amazing work and learning incredible things about the river, um, and then their enthusiasm to share that with our community and with other scientists and, and people from all over the world. That we are a not-for-profit, non-government organization. And this allows us to tackle research issues that we as scientists feel passionate about. Sure, our three pillars of the Institute since its very first days, research, education, and outreach. These days, with science budgets and government agencies, being slashed everywhere. If the, if the community doesn't understand science, doesn't get a chance to see science in action, um, they can't be expected to support it. Our fresh water is not an unlimited resource. I do some research that centers around looking at beach health. I also do a lot of research on wetlands. We actually have wetlands in Ontario sort of mini Everglades. So I do a lot of work comparing those to the Everglades in Florida and basically trying to um, capitalize on a lot of the, the last 80 years of Everglades research to make inferences about what might happen to some of our valuable wetlands under climate change. The, 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 the species composition out in this river is changing all the time and we don't even have a complete list of the things that live in the St. Lawrence River. St. Lawrence River is one of the biggest, most important rivers in the world and we know so little about it. But I'm allowed to apply my research and my findings to the community where I grew up in and to bring them to the table to my students, to future environmental technicians, to scientists and future healthcare providers. We have a greater awareness. So that's a very positive message is our awareness is as greater than it's ever been and I, we know that we, even though there's still challenges to be faced, that we're working together, the River Institute's working with its community to face those challenges and to build a better future for the river.